Saitama, or more commonly known as One Punch Man, is a character derived from a web series into one who is known to break all physical limitations. In this video, I intend on exploring his workout regimen, which entails 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and finally, a 10-kilometer run, which can be converted to 6.21 miles. It is certainly a demanding effort, but as it stands as a prerequisite to being the strongest man possible, I must do this. Why? Why did I do that? Just kidding. It wasn't that bad, but it was still pretty bad. It still kind of sucked, so uh, check it out. I am amazingly exhausted. That took so much out of me. You know, one of the uh, shortcomings to having your phone is pretty much your only reliable camera is that you can't really make videos for very long, or clips rather, uh, without the video cutting off because of course uh, it can't retain the amount of memory that you want it to. Of course you might be asking why would I start an exercise routine like this. Well, uh, I've actually been trying to do it for a long time and I've just been building up to it because to do 6.21 miles which is 10 kilometers in a day every day is very difficult so you got to be ready for that kind of thing you got to train for it I'm amazingly exhausted. That took so much out of me. I couldn't finish the uh, calisthenic work at the end because the 6.21 miles really got to me. I'm just, I'm just proud that I finished that part. Oh my God. Obviously the workout itself is not as holistic as I'd like it to be as far as working every muscle group. Um, but, Still, it's a killer workout. <laughs> definitely, definitely good if you want to raise your cardiovascular uh, endurance. So being the stupid piece of crap that I am, I've decided to finish off the workout at home because I'm not satisfied with going 6.21 miles and then not actually finishing the calisthenic work. Like that should be the easiest part, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. All right. Wow, that honestly kills. That sucked. <laughs> the worst of it is that I haven't even showered yet. So I'm gonna get to that and then I'll uh, come back to you guys. All right. So now, I don't really know if I necessarily had to do it this way, but for the entirety of the 6.21 mile distance that I had to go, uh, in you know running that 10 kilometers as that's the conversion to miles I did not take a break in that I didn't slow down if anything I sped up because I wanted to make sure that I, that I got to that exact distance at exactly 60 minutes because once uh, once you hit 60 minutes at least on the treadmill that I ran on um, it, it automatically sets you to a cooldown and you might be able to increase like the uh, time um, like the duration of the run but uh, I, I wanted to hit an hour so that's what I did and here's the thing I did hit it um, I did hit 6.21 miles exactly at 60 minutes but because of the cooldown um, in that it lasted like five minutes or something I ended up going like six 
1.5 miles exactly in six and a half, I'm sorry, six hours and five minutes. And I'll tell you, man, th that part was definitely the hardest. Um, I, I read on a lot of forums about how people are saying, uh, like this, that this, um, workout is like really nothing as far as uh, strength training is, in, is concerned and that's true I totally agree with that but then they'll also say that it's a very easy workout and I don't agree <laughs> I've been working out since early high school years and I'm a junior in college right now and I can say for a fact that that was probably one of the hardest <laughs> workouts I've ever had um and, you know, I used to be a wrestler, and so some of the uh, conditioning uh, that I would have to go through was very, very rigorous. And it really, uh, it took a toll on your mindset. And I got the same sort of feeling when I was taking this run. There were certain points in the run, right, where I, I felt nothing. I swear to God, like, it, it was this as if I was having a second wind of some sort, but like amplified 10 times. I don't know if you remember the scene in The Matrix um, where it was the, f the first movie, right? Where um, Neo is exposed to this uh, new reality and he's going through a simulation, like a training thing with Morpheus. And they're going through this bout and Morpheus says to him like, he, he infers that, like, he's not really tired because Neo's, like, panting because of the uh, hard work that they're going through. And then <laughs> Neo stops, like, breathing heavily, and he's like, oh, I guess uh, I guess I didn't really feel anything <laughs> in, in, the, in the beginning. And uh, it's kind of how I felt. If I could explain it in any way, that would be the best way to explain it, is that just a certain point, like, everything kind of shut off. Like... And I just imagine myself, like, sitting in a chair, doing nothing, but my body was, like, doing all the work. I can't explain it. Like, the muscle memory was, like, I don't know. My, my the, the muscle memory that had been kind of input, in, inputted into my brain was, uh, I guess, so ingrained after running, like doing the same motion for so long, so so monotonous, that I could kind of like step aside, so to speak, and just let my body do the work without having to like even think about it. And so that was cool. And that was about like two and a half miles in, I felt that. I was like, wow. Um, and then it really started getting to me at like five and a half miles. I was like, come on already. <laughs> and, you know, uh, it, it, it isn't really much of a boost to the morale when you're looking at the same kind of uh, prompt on this treadmill and just looking at uh, each time a, a uh, what is it, a hundredth of a mile going up by one every, like, six seconds it was. You know, that wasn't very, uh, very fun. But overall, yeah, it was a crazy experience. Would I do it again? I'll probably do it again. <laughs> I won't lie. Uh, you know, I want to be able to, like, do it one day and just finish it in the gym. Because I finished it here, the workout. But I want to be able to do it, like in one consecutive motion. I know that One Punch Man technically said, Saitama technically said um, that you do it in one, that he does it in one day, every day. He didn't specify that he necessarily like did it all at once. But I felt like that was implied. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. But anyways, this is just kind of like one of those things where you got to push your boundaries, and I definitely did that today. Um... And I encourage you guys to possibly train yourselves to do the same. Maybe uh, try and start a One Punch Man routine. Or just try it for a day, just like I did. Uh, and I, I don't know, I would love to hear uh, what, what your thoughts are on it. 
uh, that'd be pretty cool. So, yeah, that's all for today, guys. It's kind of a random video, you know, because I tend to do uh, health and well-being kind of related videos, but, I mean, this is sort of related, right? A little bit. Anyways, I'm kind of a fanboy about One Punch Man, so figured I would make a video on it. <laughs> There's plenty more randomness where that came from, guys. So, anyways, stick around. Peace. Okay.